Chaos Control! Hello everyone, my name is Jordan the Hedgehog and welcome back to Summoner 2. Last time, we did a little bit of side questing around the world. Um, I believe we did some in... We, well, we did do Hopiris, we did some in Minari City, we returned back to Halasar, and, and also... Oh, wait! We also went to the Isle of Tiamor as well. As you can see, I'm currently right now in the arena. Mainly because I haven't really gotten to show off what the arena is like. Um, so we have a few ability, a few um, choices of doing uh, arena battles. So we have gladiator fighting, which is... This one involves like um, buying monsters and having your monsters fight other monsters. So it's sort of like, in a way, um, just having <laughs> a, a Pokemon battle, but uh, monsters specifically. Gladiator betting is just pretty much betting against one team over the other. So, you know, your typical sportsmanship bet stuff. Time attack, I do believe that has you... Uh, what, what were the rules for time attack again? That's pay 500 gold, last 10 minutes to battle as many monsters as you can. And the final one, survival, is, well, if you've ever played, like, fighting games, it's pretty much seeing how long you can last. That's all it does. That's all it says. It does cost a lot longer. <laughs> I figured, um, buying a monster isn't really a necessity right now. It, it'll cost a pit. It costs a bit of money, and then you also have to consider going out of your way to level up the monster by having it fight. So, in all honesty, I'm just gonna do time attack. Must pay 500 gold. Yes, that's fine. There you go, now select your gladiators. We're gonna just go with Torgus, Sangreal, and Krobalus. Maya's at level 12. Everybody else here needs a little bit of levels. Another reason for why I'm doing this is because I m forgot to collect an item that I meant to grab in, um, during the battle with Maya and Torgus in the arena. Not to mention these enemies are really not worth the effort. Uh, am I able to, like, withdraw? No, I cannot withdraw if I wanted to. So I want to go over here. There's a colony of Amox Bane growing here. This might prove useful. Yeah, so we need this specifically. A, a madness-inducing sea cucumber. The reason why is because that's going to be used uh, to help make another one of Sangreal's poisons. So, since there's not really much to do uh, other than watching me battle ghosts, I mean, actually the time's about to end and we'll be up to the second wave, which is with pirates. But, I'm just going to cut uh, to the point where we've just finished, because it's going to show a couple of enemies that I don't want to show off, not until we reach certain points in the story. So I'll see you in about 9 to 10 minutes, depending on how long this takes. Chaos Control! We managed to score at least 5,450 gold. Added to our total, we've got about 12,000 gold right about now. Oh, man. A little bit exhausting, that was. But at least now that's finally done. Now then, uh... Oh, <laughs> looks like we've gotten what may be a glitch. I can now use... <laughs> I've always wondered why the game, like, can have you sw swap in uh, a weapon for some reason. I don't know. I don't really understand that, in all honesty, but oh wells. 
Before I do anything else, I just want to check if using the empty vial here can... Okay, yeah. I got water from Sakaf's sh shrine. I'm not sure why it didn't work the last time, but oh well. Our eyes deceive us. Only in darkness is truth revealed. Uh, I don't, don't really understand that, mate, but okay. It doesn't seem like there's much else that we can do other than uh, continue on with the main story. So we're just gonna leave through Minari City a quick way like so and then head back into Minari City. If you remember correctly, Mass Waldo mentioned uh, a door over here which can be used thanks to the iOS door gem that we've acquired. Now we can go ahead and open this door. We're gonna call the transport, and this will take us over to see the unseen. Ooh, would you look at that, Prince Nehru! Prince Nehru, why am I not surprised? We had an agreement, Your Grace. When I'm finished with Krogolis, you may have him. That wasn't the deal. The Minari say Prince Nehru is dead. I owe you nothing. If you won't give me Krogolis, then let me join you. I want to see the unseen with my own eyes. Very well, but Krobulus is still my prisoner. Your Grace? My decision is not up for debate. Now, where's the Aditum? This pod runs to the arena quarter. Near the shrines we'll find the entrance. Then let's go. With faith and valor, Your Grace. Now we get to go and see the Aditum of the Unseen. We need to find a weapon known as Iari within the Unseen. Entering Aditum of the Unseen, Part 1. Now, of course, this next part is going to require Nehru. He's, he's a permanent member for the team. And as much as I'd like to have Torgus on, I want to bring Sanguil to make her over, overcome her fear of the unseen. A lot of green pumps. Prince Nehru serves the Unseen, Your Grace. Why must we bring him along? Nehru has proven useful, and we owe him a debt of gratitude. I fear he will betray us. The Munari sees treachery everywhere but in her own heart. Did she not betray her clan? I saved Queen Maya's life. I'll not spare yours if you anger me again. Stab me in the back if you get a chance. I always remain true to my word. Enough of this. We're in the Aditum of the Unseen. We must work together if we're to find Yari. I follow you to my death, Your Grace. Sangriel, why you gotta be so down on yourself like that all the time? Uh, anyways, we got skill points for Nehru to be using. We got hand-to-hand -hand combat. Increase the damage inflicted with hand-to-hand -hand attacks. Well, technically... They say hand to hand, but when you see what Prince Nero does, he tends to uh, involve a lot of kicking and such. So of course Nero is a bit of a war monk. We're gonna throw in some in points into martial arts. We got reverse kick that could come in handy. He's got the leg sweep, has a chance to knock enemy to the ground, which is a very neat skill. Ski Steel skin increases your defense stat. That's very nice for for someone like Nehru. A disciplined fist increases his strength. Chance to dodge increase five percent. We know how warrior works. Um, holy. Uh, I guess we can throw some points into heal. We'll throw points into Holy. He is a... Oh, that's all I can do for Holy? Dang. That's a bit disappointing. 
Uh, points into parry because we need to receive less physical damage. Um, more points into hand-to-hand -hand combat because he needs to have some high strength and throw some points into steel skin to increase that defense stat. Now then, first thing we want to do is to enter solo mode, which is the way to do that is the select button. Now, the way that the this cons these consoles work is very intricate. You press the red, the red goes away. You press the green, the red comes back. And if you press the red, the green doesn't come back. I'm gonna have Maya move down to here, and then we're gonna have Nehru press the blue, and that calls for both the red and green. And so we're gonna press this here yellow console. That disperses all of the force fields. Now then, we can leave solo mode, and the team can, ret can return. Come on, Sangreal. We got work to do. Also, I do want to change uh, her crossbow back to the Minari Katanas. There we go. Now, Nehru. I have some... Uh, what have we got here? Intelligence? No, that's not worth holding on. I have some armor. We got the Battle Cures we can give you. And also the battle leggings. So that's neat. And now we get to meet some of the unseen guards around this place. Hmm, it seems that the sword, it, the Manari broadsword, isn't doing much. Let me switch over to the mace. See how that does. Ah, that's much better. Uh, Sengu, let me throw on some snake poison for you. Hold on, Nehru. I'm here to help. That was a sick dodge that he does. <laughs> When he does, like, the dodge uh, mechanic, it's like that, which is pretty cool. He rolls in, like, it's sort of a triangular uh, orientation. We, uh, which room should I go first? Let's go to the room on the right side first. What are these spheres? We find more questions than answers here. Now, I do believe that if we were to walk up this here ramp, some enemies, yeah, would come walking on down to greet us. Or gold. <laughs> Seems some of these unseen creatures are rather stingy in giving up money. But then again, that's just luck. RNG for this game. A gem of unseen origin. We've got ourselves a green gem already. Ready to... So that means there must be some more gems that we can find in this place. We got some more unseen guards. These ones, however, uh, shoot with their cannons. Or at least their arm cannons, in a way. Uh, Nehru, where the heck are you? 
And he got locked behind the doors. Sangu has gained to level 12. Nice. She's already at 400 HP. And we got some more unseen guards. Quite the interesting looking bodies now that you got a good look at them with this how zoomed inside of them. Uh oh. Sangu needs health. Now I need health. Ah. It's annoying when there's so many of them to deal with. Let's heal up the team first. Now get Sengu back on her feet. And hopefully these insolent freaks will target me instead of her. Let me heal up Sengu while the other two are fighting these monstrosities. Neo can use his own AP to heal himself. Yeah, I knew there was gonna be a robot behind this one. I mean, an unseen. Would you look at that? We have a Medivin soldier. Or Medivin Crusader, however you want to see it. Have I found the Kingdom of Heaven? No. We're in the Adatum of the Unseen. But I am dead. I was slain on the fields of Halasar. Then you died in vain, Sir Knight. Are you Lord Urho of Morhave? I am. Your kinsman is searching for you. You'll find him in the harbor district. I know you. You were a prelate in the court of Empress Sihua. I fear you are mistaken. I am no priest. You're in danger here, Sir Knight. Leave before you die a second time. Find your kinsman and return to Medeva. Hmm, what was that about Nero being a priest? The priests of Uaf are marked. Some forsake the mark as Uaf has forsaken us. Oh, interesting. So, it appears that Nero has forsaken Uaf as well as the mark on him. We got a red gem. We have a Minari Gladiator. Tell Masora the mighty Gribo is dead. Marlak and his arrows killed him. Are you a Gladiator? Yes. Long ago Masora loved the mighty Gribo. Then Morbazan come and she loved Gribo no more. I know you, Gladiator. Priest of a thousand gods. I fear you are mistaken. I am no gladiator. Hmm, would you look at that, Nero was also a gladiator in his time as well. We're in the Adatum of the Unseen, Gribo. I think you'll be safer in the arena. Well, that's two people we've managed to rescue. And yet another Unseen God. Um, guys, out of the way, please. Sir 
so then. Oh, it's this guy. Who are you? My name is Anatis. Ah, Savora's contact. Anatis, I'm quite certain I killed you. Yes, I remember you now. You wanted the Book of the Prophets. You were Savora's contact. Who were you working for? Why should I tell you? I died once already. You're a prisoner of the Unseen. Speak his name and we'll let you go. Mass Abre, it was Mass Abre. Then tell Mass Abre we'll visit him later. We're going to have a word with Mass Abre about why he'd want to steal the Book of the Prophets. We got the Archon Mask. Can be equipped by Maya, a mask found in the Atom of the Unseen. I will say, that mask is going to come in handy in the near future. As of right now, it's practically useless. Oh, we might as well see what this is like. This green fluid flows through Masala's district. Hmm, wonder why these pumps and whatnot, these pumps and pipes, are flowing into Masala's district. Why? Why would Masala want to hide that fact, unless he is not, and... Am I able to, like... Okay, no, I thought I could investigate that, that, that area still. Taste a fire arrow, and another! An energy major. Another energy major. You can hear, like, mechanical features from these unseen gods, so, yeah, me, me saying that they're robots is no... It's, it's pretty not much a spoiler at this point. They, they sound mechanical to a fault. Um, have the team heal up real quick. The Unseen draw energy from these crystals. There must be a device to cut the gems. For a race of gods, they're rather dependent on machines. Their science lies beyond our comprehension. Make of that what you will. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Why would a race of gods need to rely on machines? Like Maya said, we find more questions than answers in this place. A piece of this crystal has broken off. It may prove useful. Rough crystal. A rough, uncut crystal found in the refinery. Now, if we head on up here, we've got what appears to be a machine. An impressive display of energy. Could this be the Unseen's gem cutter? If it, if it mentions it's a gem cutter, then maybe we should place the rough crystal within and see what happens. Blue crystal inserted.
The machine cut the gem. We lost the rough crystal, but we got a blue gem. We now have three gems. We got pretty much uh, the primary colors. Red, green, and blue. Uh, ow. Three... Uh, three of these guys is more than I can handle. Six hundred and sixteen. Ooh, fourteen hundred and four gold. Nice. We're getting good amounts of gold now. Ah, dang it. Why am I letting go at random points? Nehru grew to level 9. I just want to go back to this spot specifically to show what it's meant for. The purple console has a fast has a faceted depression as uh, uh, as if made to hold a gemstone. Perhaps I can show that circle of light. Hmm. What is this circle of light? It appears it's a we have a purple console, and it requires a gem. But, how do we find a gem fit for a purple console? In other words, a purple gem. I feel a sudden urge to dance. Well, I mean, this does look like a disco ball. I wouldn't be surprised. Hit it with a fire arrow. Another energy major. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. I meant to heal up Nehru. Maya gained level 13. Nice. The Unseen have built a rune stone. Why would gods need a machine to write AOC? Hmm. Oh boy, we got a weird looking uh, blood summon. Oh. Whoa! 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 That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Okay, back it up. Oh. I need to get back on Zengu's feet. I want to use poison on this thing. Let me grab some poison real quick. Oh, it's immune to poison. Ah. Well, that sucks. Let's see what happens if I hit this thing with a fire arrow. Oh, 
That probably would have one one shot killed it. I will show off. Um, we have this door over here, but it won't open, and there's no lock to pick. So we can't really go inside there. We'll have to come back to the editor at a later point in the game to see if we will be able to open that door. You know, you can just let Nehru handle that, uh, Maya. Um, what have we got here? Ah, we got a console. This console seems to be the master switch. But the machine isn't ready. So then, let's insert the gems. We got a blue console for the blue gem. We got a green console for the green gem. Uh, where is it? There it is. And lastly, we have a red console for our red gem. All the gems are inserted into the consoles. Now let's use the master one. It works. Golem activated and now we have control of this golem. What we're going to do is pretty much uh, activate this here switch for the console. Console activated. Now then, we can't exactly grab it with this golem, but we're gonna return it to this uh, spot over here. And now we can walk on down and open the bars to collect our new gem that is waiting over there. The red, green, and blue crystals have formed this purple gem. Technically only red and blue needs to make purple. We don't need green in the mixture. A gem created from blue, red, and green crystals. No, it's created from gems. We have a Manari crossbow here. This is one of the reasons why I didn't want to buy a Manari crossbow back in Manari City. Now that we have a purple gem, we can head back to where that circle of light is and insert the purple gem into the purple console. Uh, purple gem, purple gem, where are you? There you are. Purple gem inserted. Now let's have a closer look at that circle of light. Let's see what this does then. It appears that that circle of light was just a means of teleportation. We're entering the Adatum of the Unseen Part 2. How did we get here? What are these giant masks? And what's this thing floating here? If you'd notice, there's this weird little um, hat here, which has a, a symbol of some sort of a bird on it. This doesn't belong here. I believe that's supposed to be uh, an easter egg referencing, I don't know exactly, maybe Dawn of War? The the Blood Marines? 
I'm not too positive about it, really. The numbers 1093 don't really uh, mean much to me either. I know that THQ did uh, did work on uh, the Dawn of War games. I just don't know if it's actually from Dawn of War, if it's from some other game that was made by Volition slash THQ, like say a Red Faction. We got ourselves a time ward here. This necklace provides immunity to haste, freeze, paralyze, and slow effects. We also got crystalline mud, a jar of brittle ooze. Those, as you can see, those masks down below, they all are going to represent something in the near future. You can see a they all have different looks. Well, some of them are pretty much the same from one side to the other, but some of them are different. Let's use some skill points real quick because, uh, let's see, silences target. Yeah, but I believe we already have like silence with poison. I don't think we. We'll Need to really worry too much in terms of assassination. Uh, you know what? Let's put all three points into stealth. Get that sunken state. Now, Maya, let's put two points into summon. And uh, one point into Halsa combat. There's only one more skill left, which is Nightmare. Cast Nightmare on enemies nearby. It's, and that's a, it requires a charged triangle attack, so you'd have to... Oh, no. Wrong button. You'd have to hold down the button for that. What to give you, Nehru, though? Uh, one point into that. And let's put... No, I don't think we'll need to worry about Warrior. We already have Torgus, uh, who's getting more points in that regard. Let's put some points into Discipline Fists. Chance to parry increased 5%. Now then, we have a console to activate. First, I see nothing. Only ripples on the water's surface. Then a vision takes form. I see strange faces and a great tower. And then, a river of light. Flowing through a desolate valley. The world is breaking apart. I hear a voice. Your friends will be safe, it says. But you must go on alone. So, Maya has to fight these next this these next few battles all by herself Sangaril, you and Nehru must wait here no your grace the unseen are near you're in danger if you will not trust me then obey that is your duty with faith and valor your grace and just like that Maya has to go alone from here on out. So, with that all said and done, this is a good spot to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next exciting episode of Summoner 2. Until then, take care. Chaos Control!